Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Tafyomi Chagiga Gimel Ahmed Aleph. The Gemara mentions a line that's quite well known. Rashi on the Chumash quotes it. Vahabor Reik Ein Bo Mayim. The pit in which Yosef was thrown was empty. There was no water. So the Gemara asks the obvious question. If it was empty, obviously it didn't have water. And the Gemara gives a famous answer that there w- was no water, but Nachashim Akravim, there were snakes and scorpions in the pit. The obvious question is, if that's what was going on in the pit, what was Ruvain doing? It didn't seem like it was a very g- great chesed by suggesting that he should be thrown into the pit in order to save him. It sounds like he went from uh, the frying pan right into the fire. And what was Ruvain doing? The Rachayim gives an answer, a very, very fascinating answer, uh, one that uh, needs to really be analyzed and thought through, and especially since it's coming from the Rachayim, Makadosh. He writes that Ruvain knew very well the only chance that Yosef could survive in that pit was an absolute miracle. God had to intervene and stop those creatures from doing what they naturally would do to any human being, which would mean, of course, to sting him and eat him and destroy the person. And Ruvain knew that. And still, Ruvain said, there's a much greater chance that he will survive in the pit than if I leave him here with the brothers who are posketing that he might have to be destroyed. Why? Why would there be an open miracle? So Ruvain held that animals can go ahead and be easily controlled by Hashem. And not only can be, but they will be. And Hashem will suspend the laws of nature and take away the animal's instinct, or control the animal's instinct to bite and to sting a person. And therefore, Hashem, Ruvain said, let me throw him into the pit. And Hashem, and it's Hashem, will hopefully stop the animals miraculously from doing anything, from harming Yosef. Ah, but Hashem can also stop the brothers from harming Yosef. So it's the same thing. Hashem could do either one. Yes, it's true, the Rahim says, but... Hashem can intervene in their free will and control their free will, but he rarely does that. And he usually leaves man up to his own free will. And therefore, if the brothers paskin that they should destroy Yosef, even if it is a horrible mistake that could change all of history, Hashem may let them do that and may not intervene. And therefore, it's going to turn out that they may kill Yosef even though that's not the ideal plan. That's not what Hashem's goal is. But Hashem created the world with free will, and He will let them carry it out. And He will only at certain very, very specific times intervene with one's free will. As opposed to the animals, uh, Hashem will intervene and much quicker. And therefore, Ruvain said, let me throw him and have the brothers throw him into the pit. And hopefully Hashem will suspend the laws of nature intervene in the animal's free will because he'll do that much quicker than man's free will. It's an astounding or chayim. It sounds like uh, something my man of these born of Ruchim and any other mid of Rishonim may say, but it's actually the or chayim who's saying this in, on his, in his commentary on Brashit. Of course, we see the importance here of free will, and there's such a yesod in Yadat that Hashem has given us the ability to rise above our animal instincts, and to go ahead and take on the greatest of passions and the greatest of challenges, to go ahead and use that gavura, use that free will to overcome all of our challenges. Shalom.